Hey everyone, so today I just have a super quick tip for you on how to slice objects with Voronoi Fracture. It's just a quick tip that you might not know about. So if you add a Voronoi Fracture, this is probably how you know it to be. You just add the fragments. But what you can also do is go down here under the point cloud points and you can turn off this uniform button so you can change them individually and maybe you can set scale x to 0, scale y to 0 and you're just cutting the object on the axis that you want so I can make this 0 too and just maybe slice it like this right so I just added this head model to make it more interesting and if you want them to sort of separate you can just add a force operator and you can just increase the turbulence to a higher number and then you can only affect it on the X and Y so they don't go through each other so as you go forward you just get this nice sort of splitting effect which is pretty interesting and if you want the inside to have a different material just make sure that under Vorner Fracture you scroll down to Fractures Override and set the ID to 2 and then you just need to make a multi-sub object material with two materials, so ID1, ID2. Apply that straight to tie flow, and now the inside is orange like this, so it's looking pretty cool. Now I also want you to know that instead of force, you can also add a spread operator to have a bit more precise control. And again, you can turn up this uniform, um, set Z to zero, so they're only moving on X and Y and you can just split them randomly on the x and y axis like this maybe you can just make x zero right and you get a different looking slicing effect like this right so maybe I'll just set this to 20 centimeters and now if you wanted to delete some of them you can just add a delete operator go under filters and say enable filters add and the property type you can set to every nth so every let's say second particle will be deleted so I'll just set this to 2 and then you get a nice sort of splitting effect like this so I'll turn off the spread turn on this and then you can um, play with this condition to control how many of them get deleted so maybe just every fifth gets deleted and you get some nice gaps in the model like this so I'll leave that up to you to play with right so you get something like this I've seen this done pretty cool pretty simple to do so then of course you can just add a few lights play with the materials to make it look cool and you get something like this so I hope that you found this quick tip helpful if you did as always I would appreciate a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one